I'm going and that's all there's to it. fashion edition. This baby right here is what I will be wearing for the next 11 days when I go on vacation, which I um, have not done in one and a half years because corporate America. In this video, we are going all out on that minimalism, aka we're doing the capsule wardrobe. For those of you wondering what the capsule wardrobe is, it is a limited selection of interchangeable clothing pieces that complement each other. These are often classic pieces that do not go out of style and are primarily composed of neutral colors. A capsule wardrobe allows you to create a variety of different outfits with a small selection of clothes. This is meant to help you declutter, to help with like shopping addictions, or if you just like want to be more minimalist, which is honestly kind of my goal. Being an insanely bad overpacker, I decided to test this capsule wardrobe on my limits with packing <laughs> because uh, you know, if we're going on a four day trip, I will pack 10 pairs of underwear every single time. I think the capsule wardrobe is similar to minimalism where it kind of is a little bit of an iffy topic. Point is that you're supposed to be wearing items that will last you a long time, that are good quality, that you really, really love. And some of us really just simply can't afford to do that. Up until now, I have not been able to afford staple pieces and it is only now that I am actually trying to find myself good proper staple pieces in my wardrobe. And I am definitely starting to feel that corporate depression, whatever you wanna call it, fuck corporate America. I really hope that I will be able to come up with enough combinations. I am not entirely sure. I'm feeling a little iffy about it. And uh, editing yummy, take it from here. Roll the clips. Put some pants on your pervert. We just got back from the flight. I am exhausted. Basic outfit. Didn't really have to think about it because it was already planned, but I didn't wear the jewelry with it. Didn't make it fancy or anything because I literally woke up at seven and headed to the airport. Would I do it again? Maybe not in New York because New York is a little like high strung. Like, if that makes any sense, like everybody's fashionable and so I don't want to be unfashionable. I don't think this is unfashionable. I just think this is more of like bachelor's degree kid style. And it's not a bad style, it's just oversized style. I'm just kind of exhausted with overdressing and this was just a really nice change of pace. This is day two. Today I wore also what I planned already in advance, so it wasn't anything new. So far, so good. Everything going as planned. It was good for the weather. It was good for the road trip. Also already went swimming. <laughs> it's already night time and yeah. That white outfit again, super straightforward, super basic. I have definitely made use of the button ups that I thrifted because it's a little colder inside than it is outdoors. I'm too sick to talk right now, so good night. This day was simple. I have been pretty much sick after every single meal. So it has really sucked to wear anything except like loose clothing. But I did wear this outfit combo and I thought that I would be really insecure in it. But looking at the videos taken of me in that outfit today, I actually feel pretty happy about it. I mean, nobody's trying to dress up here. We're like at the beach. I'm about to run out of ideas. I have like two or three more outfits that I remember from when I was filming my B-roll earlier. So hopefully um, I will remember to pull those off and hopefully I can because my IBS is really acting up. I look like I'm six months pregnant about half of the day because I just eat trash and it is definitely biting me in the ass. I know that usually people overdress for these vacations because this is like a fashion account, but to be quite honest with you, 
I don't want to do that. But I want to make sure everybody knows that like just because something's casual doesn't mean it's not fashionable and just because something's expensive doesn't mean it's fashionable. It just takes practice to style casual clothes in a way that still looks very pleasing to the eye. I need some serious help with my stomach. I am like fading. Today is day five. And I swear I keep on getting riskier and riskier by the minute with my outfits, but today we have this cute alert, which I can barely show. Wait to button up with my Betty Shelley. I was supposed to wear this fit actually with my white skirt, but I genuinely can't wear that right now because I'm so bloated all the time. Hello, it is the final day at the beach tomorrow, going back home and then actually home to New York. Just wanted to dress really basic, really normal since my back is kind of already packed and I didn't really want to deal with the hassle and where I'm probably also going to be repeating an outfit because I mean, nobody here knows me and it's not like they see me in the same outfit every day so I think it's pretty safe to repeat an outfit. I feel good about the stuff that I have because they're very good to use in different types of weather and in different conditions. Oh man, the waves are so pretty today. Went to Wilmington today, ate vegan food, was looking okay in my Carolina blue stuff. Pretty sure it maybe blended in. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not even from New York. I'm from Finland, so what do I know? I keep forgetting to update because apparently that is my thing right now. Yesterday I wore my black cat t-shirt and the shorts again just for traveling and then I wore something looser and borrowed the rest of the day because I actually put all of my clothes in the wash. Getting a bit of anxiety about like not really knowing what to wear or not really knowing how to not be repetitive but it has kind of made me want to shop more because I just feel bored in what I have right now. I think that's just like a dilemma of like me packing things that were just like very simple. I didn't pack anything extravagant that I could pair with other things without it being like boring. <laughs> Anyways, I wore my Italy jersey today because it was the European Championship and Italy won. So good day to wear this shirt. That was a really nerve-wracking game to watch, but it was really fun. I am super exhausted and I swear I keep getting more and more like bad with my acne because I didn't even get to bring face wash. Like that's how little I packed, like no face wash, literally just moisturizer. The other thing is like, I really wish I packed some pants with me and like a sweatshirt. My partner said, don't do it because it's gonna be super hot in North Carolina. Like, of course it is super hot and super humid here. But of course, it's super cold indoors because everybody always blasts the AC. So, wish I could have brought some pants. Thankfully, I'm able to borrow pants from relatives, but really wish I had my own. So yeah, there's that. Bye, and go Italy! Well, 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 we begin and end the video in the same exact way. <laughs> Me with a suitcase, except this time way bigger. I don't have a lot of time because I'm actually supposed to head to the airport in two hours, which is not a lot of time and I still haven't completed packing or eating or anything else. So I'm gonna keep this real quick, pros and cons. The pros are definitely the fact that for like the first week, I didn't really have to think about what to wear. Cons, the second week I felt super repetitive and actually contrary to how some other people feel, I felt like shopping more because I just felt so bored in my outfits. I got so many neutral pieces that I didn't have a single extraordinary one. So not having anything special made me feel kind of bored with my outfits. Even if they were simple and easy to style and like classic and timeless, I still felt like, mm, I wish I had like a special bit of something. Button ups that I thrifted really helped because I was not prepared 
for the air conditioning. Ultimately though, I think the real issue with the capsule wardrobe is that the items really have to be good quality. In my case, they should have been way more breathable, but instead I brought these huge t-shirts with me, which um, let's just say I sweated through those so many times that I can't even keep count anymore. It's pretty nasty. I think that's kind of the downside of the capsule wardrobe is that it's not really inclusive like most things in fashion. Can you tell I'm fed up with the way fashion works? It's kind of weird because the capsule wardrobe only works if what you are wearing is actually high quality and lasts really well for a long time through multiple washes. Also, you have to have a washing machine nearby. I don't know which one's more sustainable, having less clothes and doing way more washing or doing way less washing and having more clothes. Now, obviously, because I am not local to North Carolina, nobody knew me, so I could wear the same outfit every single day. But I do think that I would like to do the capsule wardrobe, but with a little bit more variety. Maybe in colder climates, this would work better because I wouldn't be sweating my tits off, but not in North Carolina. <laughs> I have to say bye bye to this one today, so I'm gonna continue packing and run to the airport. Love you all. Bye!